Hello, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of European markets on the uh, uh, Thursday, 23rd of June 2016. Be sure to visit tradesignaler.com, signals and market updates from leading providers, www.tradesignaler.com, and you can download the app from the Google uh, App Store and the Apple App Store too. Okay, now let's try and decipher exactly what's happening with regards to this market at present. Let's see where this uh, market is now attempting to turn. Okay. Uh, the market certainly has a um, uh, short squeezed higher quite powerfully. Okay, we certainly have European markets up now uh, quite handsomely, currently trading around the 6330 zone. So, up almost uh, what, between 1 to 2 percent across the board. Uh, Asian markets subdued, uh, Chinese markets down overnight, Hang Seng uh, up 0.3, and the uh, Nikkei up 1 percent, whilst the Australian markets were down. So, certainly uh, a mixed set of picture there. Now, in terms of the, uh, the actual uh, a result thus far today as we all know we, we have brexit concerns now we did have uh, economic data out during the day which was certainly mixed uh, if anything it was more towards the berry side although industrial orders from uh, italy certainly helped sentiment the market pmi weaker uh, market services pmi weaker market pmi composite uh, weaker so m m basically more or less all we weaker uh, and also with regards to uh, german data was mixed but the french data certainly was the outstanding one and that was certainly weak overall okay so therefore bias certainly bearish from to a large extent and uh, now we uh, have ha we are waiting u.s market data now u.s market data will obviously dictate uh, and uh, will certainly move the u.s session in terms of european uh, markets let's just see exactly where we stand now all uh, european indices from my perspective are into solid resistance you're into the 200 ma here 200 ma resistance on the daily chart on the french cac so certainly looking for downside price action in terms of the let's just bring up the uh, the European indices bear with me okay so let's bring up the chart German DAX German DAX as you can see here gap fill support topping tail topping tail at 10350 and certainly hit the upper bound okay uh, resistance zone okay certainly looking to uh, potentially reverse it the actual chart of the FTSE 100 as well you can see the daily chart pretend potentially putting in a topping tail it's in concert with the weekly resistance chart as you can see here looking to reverse <clears throat> the 10 minute chart the FTSE at the moment still remains weak okay looking to potentially retest 6310 potential breakout zone below okay uh, in terms of the market there Okay, now let's have a look at the euro stocks as well. See where we're positioned in terms of the euro stocks. Okay. Okay, so the euro stocks as well certainly remains top heavy, looking like it wants to reverse and move lower. The daily chart obviously has held that uh, diagonal trend line resistance, so certainly into a lower high. Okay, 60 minute chart at the moment certainly is holding resistance and looking to potentially move lower. Uh, and like I said, it certainly has, uh, it certainly remains over, overbought on, on almost every spectrum that you try to uh, gauge the uh, strength and weakness of this market at present. Okay, so certainly broken out, looking for a bearish engulfing candle now, looking for a retracement, profit taking, etc. as we come close to the actual results coming out. Uh, the uh, day 10 minute chart certainly has a HS formation, certainly wants to move lower. If we do a flush lower, then you do have a potential support here at 3.010 on the chart of uh, the euro stocks. Okay, so 3.010 remains resistance. <clears throat> so any sell sell off now will certainly come back into that 3.020 zone. And then obviously you have 3.010 as well. So again, these are all zones of potential support. Okay, on the, on the way down. In terms of the... Aussie and Kiwi, Aussie and Kiwi as well, both indicating reversals on the daily chart. The Aussie certainly uh, overextended here now, certainly coming into previous support equals resistance. So as you can see here, rejected, okay, to a large extent. But we do have a Fibonacci retracement tool, take the pivot high, take it to the pivot low, and you are into that Fib 75%. That's why we're looking at a potential reversal here. So again, take that on board as well, folks. Okay, resistance zone. Okay, on the Aussie USD. In terms of the Kiwi as well, same type of formation, same type of resistance on the Kiwi. 
Okay, so the Kiwi certainly is flushing as we speak. Now, the Kiwi certainly was under pressure due to weaker inflation data. Uh, if you go to the weekly chart, really, it's all about weeklies now, where previous support equals resistance. So there's the reason why you're seeing this retracement on the Kiwi. Now, we do have US economic data out shortly as well. And again, that will dictate things too. Okay, so basically the Kiwi looking to flush. We have hit up here at high of 53, looking to reverse now, potentially move lower, okay? Again, so watch out for that zone, okay? Okay, so Euro stock certainly potentially coming into resistance as well, but again, the US data, economic data is a wild card. So all eyes on US economic data into the, into, in terms of the next potential move, okay? Uh, and as you can see, copper is into resistance as well. Crude oil certainly holding resistance as well, okay? Again, US economic data will dictate okay uh, in terms of Europe 350 as well you are certainly coming into resistance on the daily chart as you can see the 200 MA holding resistance here okay looking for a potential move lower so bias certainly remains a week okay right okay I think that's a summation now of European indices from my perspective uh, the FTSE 100 really is a leader and the weekly chart of the FTSE 100 now at the moment is into that two is into weekly chart resistance so very unlikely for us to certainly move higher here now certainly looking to pause and then obviously reverse so bias remains bearish from my perspective and looking for a move lower and i currently have a short on the euro stocks that's my active trade at the moment but i am down negative 280 points for the week so certainly a, a negative week for me okay i think that's a uh, sum up be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and uh, certainly take them that 25 percent cash bonus offer goodbye now.